Dentists have read it. What's the biggest mistake or misunderstanding people make when it comes to dental hygiene? It's not the amount of sugar consumption that's a problem, it's the frequency. If you chug a 2L bottle of coke in under a minute, I mean it's not great, but your teeth are exposed to the sugar and acid for under a minute. Compare that to sipping on a giant cup of soda throughout the morning at the office. That's a near constant exposure of sugar and acid to your teeth all throughout the morning. Compare it to ripping a band-aid off quickly versus slowly taking it off through a 4 hour period. Edit, on black coffee. Sugar is bad, because bacteria eat the sugar, and convert it into lactic acid, which erodes your teeth and creates cavities. Black coffee skips the sugar part and jumps straight to the acidic part. Frequently consuming black coffee all day long will cause problems as well. Edit 2, on Suga Free Gum. Check the ingredients for Xylitol, which is amazing for your oral health. It's basically the world's most tantalizing mouse trap for the bacteria in your mouth. But it's poisonous to cats and dogs. After vomiting, rinse with water using 1 teaspoon of baking soda mixed with 8 ounces of water. Rinse with water if there is no baking soda available. Do not brush the teeth for at least 1 hour. Brushing after the acidic challenge of stomach acid will accelerate enamel tissue damage. Edit, to add following an episode of vomiting, it is advisable to rinse the mouth out with water or ideally a fluoride mouthwash, to avoid the effects of gastric acid on the teeth. Ideally the teeth should be brushed before eating, but if this is not practical again wait at least an hour after sugar consumption. Edit 2. 8 ounce equals 236.588 milliliters. Speaking from my experience as a former bulimic, I'd encourage any current one potentially reading this to heed the advice. When you're throwing up on a daily basis, the damage can get significant. I'm dental assistant, so I'm around dentists more often than not. If I had a dollar for every time I heard them tell a patient that an electric toothbrush is way more beneficial than a manual, I wouldn't have to work again. But it's true. Also, just because you scrub your teeth harder doesn't mean they're getting cleaner. You're actually causing harm, which is why an electric toothbrush is more beneficial, because some stop when you apply too much pressure. I bought a fancy electric toothbrush because it was 70% off earlier this year. My teeth have never felt cleaner, and brushing is so much less of a chore because I just stand there going by quadrants and boom it's all brushed. It literally feels like I've just come from a dental cleaning each time I'm done. Teeth so smooth. Dental hygienist here. Kids need their teeth brushed too. Baby teeth get cavities. Kids can have dental pain. Kids sometimes need root canals. Just because they'll lose those teeth doesn't mean you can just avoid brushing them. Met a woman yesterday who stated that she never brushes her two year old's teeth. Please, brush their teeth. Please don't make them get dental work at such a young age. This is what causes dental fear and avoidance of dentists later in life. Edit. Many people asking when to take child for their first visit. It's a little subjective. A DA recommends when teeth start coming in. I personally feel like age 1 is a great time, unless there are issues you are concerned with. At age 1 they have almost all their baby teeth. Gives the dentist something to see. The first appointment is not just to check the baby's teeth, but to give advice and educate parents. Also, getting baby slash toddler to sit, open, and tolerate brushing, it's a crapshoot. Some do it willingly, and some freak the duck out. Parenting is the bee's knees sometimes, you hold them down, you headlock them, and get her done. I had to wrestle mine for over a year, until he starting sitting fairly calm while I brushed. I'm a dentist in the Midwest US and the worst thing I see on a daily basis is soda, by far. Just cavities everywhere from people sitting at their desk jobs sipping sodas all day. In kids, it's when parents put them to bed with a bottle with milk or juice or kids walking around with juice or Kool-Aid in sippy cups all day. Water only between meals is key and you never want to sip on anything acidic or with any sugar. Otherwise, I see plenty of bad brushing. I often recommend an electric brush to my patients, the sonicas are the bomb, if they have anything less than perfect oral hygiene. If you insist on a manual, YouTube the base or charters technique for tooth brushing and practice. You will thank yourself later. Also, fluoride is your friend, not a communist plot. I'm a veterinary dentist if that counts. Brush your pet's teeth. 
I could show you the horrors of a pet whose dental care was neglected and it's bad. I've seen dogs slash cats with mouths so bad that I can't even understand how they are still able to eat. Mouths that are just so painful and infected that it would literally bring tears to your eyes. It's one of the best things you can do for your pet. Just like with us and our teeth, bad teeth can affect their heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. I've seen so many great pets go into heart or kidney failure because their teeth are so bad. You can take 20% off their life without proper dental care. I know most people on Reddit adore their pets and want the best for them, so I hope this gets through to some people. I can post pics of awful mouths or before slash after pics if anyone is interested. Please don't buy expensive toothpaste off of Facebook. I have personally seen patients who are a dental mess, who have needed me to remove all multiple teeth, advertising their favorite charcoal toothpaste on social media using doctored up photos. Another trick, if the toothpaste lists aqua as a major ingredient, it's because it is being labeled as a cosmetic product and following different labeling standards. This is usually because there is insufficient evidence, or the company hasn't spent the time or money to research whether or not their product actually does anything. So it gets labeled a cosmetic and they call it a day. Do not whiten your teeth with charcoal toothpaste. You're scrubbing away your enamel and making your teeth weaker and more prone to cavities and sensitivity. What is a natural way for me to whiten my teeth? If you were my patient I would ask you why are you seeking natural. If it's personal I would tell you I'm sorry I don't know any safe and proven ways. Most of the things that are out there on Pinterest and DIY blogs are just not going to work. Oils are pointless, charcoal is corrosive, mouthwashes aren't true, and lemon is acidic and will erode your teeth. If I were you, I would go to a dental office for their whitening products. Zoom and Polonite are my personal favorite. Reason behind it is, these products have been studied and are proven to work in a safe manner and won't harm your enamel. And if you are doing it from a dentist office, if you start experiencing sensitivity they can always help you. To be honored it's not as expensive as you may think either. Call around there is a lot of competition. We offer same day whitening for about $200. But with that it is highly suggested you are on a fluoride treatment for a week prior, because it could make you very sensitive. The most effective tooth care is a bit unintuitive. Brush first thing in the morning, before you have eaten. Don't rinse with water, just spit out. This is when the fluoride does its thing. You can drink some water, but don't rinse it around. Mouthwash does bring benefit, but it is best used during the day, partly for a forementioned reason of not washing out the fluoride. One day I came to the realization that my swishing with water was probably rinsing the toothpaste slash fluoride slash whatever protection I was adding to my teeth off, so I stopped. Along with my new electric toothbrush, my teeth have never been whiter and less sensitive than now. Dental student here, one thing I learned in school is about gum that has xylitol. People should chew xylitol based gum at least 3 to 5 times a day. Xylitol actually kills the specific bacteria in our mouths that cause cavities, streptococcus mutants. These bacteria take up the xylitol thinking it's real sugar, but in actually it's a poison for them. Therefore, to help lower your chance of getting cavities, gum like mentos and ice cubes are the best. It will give your dog a seizure slash maybe kill if your dog eats the gum though. Those black charcoal whiteners on Instagram do not do it. You are rubbing tiny rocks on your teeth and damaging enamel. That is why they look whiter temporarily, because the top dirty layer of enamel was roughly scraped away revealing the brighter whiter layer underneath. But you want that enamel to last as long as possible, not to harshly destroy it, because Kylie needs to pay for Stormy to get lip injections when she's 14 months old. <laughs> Dentist here. Fluoride is the most important component in toothpaste. Some brands do not include fluoride and may be referred to as herbal or natural. Fluoride is its naturally occurring element and there is a tremendous body of research pointing to the positive effects for amineralization of enamel as well as some antimicrobial activity. Also, as someone else pointed out, you should not rinse with water after brushing. You should not rinse with mouthwash after brushing either. If you like mouth rinse, use it before you brush. Toothpaste works best due to its direct application and scrubbing on during brushing. Mouth rinse oftentimes has lower fluoride levels that become diluted in saliva. 
root canals are not that scary anymore. Old dentistry had these horror stories from getting them. More than anything today, it can just be annoying to get it done, and oftentimes will relieve some pain fairly quickly. It's a great way to keep a tooth that can be saved. Crowns are often the best treatment on a root canal tooth, so don't skimp on that step to save a few bucks. You got all that work done, do what's best for the tooth long term. You have been visited by angry doggo. Comment calm down little angry pupper to get rid of rough day.